In this lesson, we will discuss more about protective device coordination in ETAP. And here we have my single line diagram over here. I have drawn a single line diagram of a distribution network. So here we have the high voltage part or the voltage till this transformer over here is 11 kV and over here we have 415 volts and the protection devices used for this part over here the high voltage system is a high voltage breaker which is CB6 and a CT which is of the ratio 50 is to 1 and we have a relay over current relay the device number for the over current relay is 50 bar 51 N where 50 is the instantaneous element and 51 is the IDMT element N is for the ground element and towards my low voltage side over here I have circuit breakers these two are power circuit breakers over here if you go over here you can see these are power circuit breakers power CBs and here as well I am using power CBs because of the amount of current this has to handle and here you can see I have provided cables over here I have also sized my cable according to the load requirements over here and here I have used circuit breakers again and here I am using a fuse so that is my single line diagram over here so I will perform a load flow analysis to show you and I have already provided the ampacity limits over here I haven't changed the standard over here so this is the default standard and the derated values over here and now let us go to star mode and and first thing what I will do is I will fault this bus over here and I will run and short circuit study so what this does is that all the cables connected to this bus when I double click on the bus and go to the protection over here this updates the short circuit current over here so that is done I will remove that fault over here then I will select my entire single line diagram then I'm going to the protection zone viewer so when I click on this over here I have the various zones of protection the bus 3 cable 1 which is this cable the lump load two of the lump loads the motor load two of the induction motors the synchronous motor the transformer and the source and I can also combine different zones to make a single zone by using this option which is the extended to source option or by simply dragging over here but I don't want to do that then I will create individual star view per zone so let me create individual star views so this is the star view of the source end so in protective device coordination you always have to begin from the downstream or the load end so let us so these are all load ends over here you can see this is the breaker rating breaker curve so let me minimize that and again we have another load and this is the fuse curve over here and this is the protection of the cable and this is the protection of the bus okay so let me close all of these star views and then begin insertion of faults I have already done in this in advance and I will make this file available for you in the resource so let us begin with the fault insertion and I will insert the fault at this bus over here you can see the protective device coordination has worked well and the first breaker to operate is CB1 then CB7 CB8 and CB6 it went from the downstream to the upstream breakers and there was no 
mal operation so let me go to the sequence view i will see the operation time over here so the period of operation so the period of operation for this circuit breaker one is somewhere around 1 millisecond to 14.8 millisecond so this is less than 1 millisecond to 14 millisecond so this occurred in the instantaneous period and over here the period of operation is somewhere around 40 milliseconds to 60 milliseconds for this circuit breaker and here 80 to 120 and this relay is operating which is less than 1043 millisecond and this is overload phase and this sends the trip signal to the circuit breaker so tripped by relay to overload phase thermal and again you can see this is the 51 element the 51 element is the idmt element and the cb6 again you can see and the other breakers are opening at very large periods over here so let me close this and we can go to the star view over here i will select this and i will go to the star view so in the star view CB1 circuit breaker so this operates from somewhere around 1 millisecond to 40 milliseconds so when you see over here so this is the range of operation so 1 millisecond to some 14 millisecond and when you go to the upstream point over here you can see the period of operation is 40 milliseconds and again when you go upside you have the period of operation is somewhat around 82 milliseconds and this goes on like that so let me show you the settings for these breakers so this is the circuit breaker 1 is this circuit breaker 7 is this and this is the circuit breaker 8 and some more features which I wanted to show you print preview over here so you have your print preview and you can print it from here let me close that and you can also put in grids like this and I am going to change the plot options I will change the major grid will be the same the minor grid I am going to change the minor grid okay you can make the graphs as you want them to and you can also show the settings of these over here so this is a cutler hammer fi 160 the size is 150 amps the thermal trip is fixed so what this means is that the trip element is fixed over here so i can't move the fix, fixed trip element so the only thing i can do is to change the circuit breaker here but i here i can change the trip element so the trip, there are three portions for this graph here we have the instantaneous portion over here here we have the short time period portion and this is the long time portion I am taking for this graph in instance I have turned off the instantaneous so there is no instantaneous let me show you that so I have turned off the instantaneous when I put the instantaneous part over here we have the instantaneous and this is the short period I can change the short period curve over here and this is the long period I can also change the long period if I want to but I am not going to change anything because as of now everything is perfect so let me close this and show you the entire coordination so in this case I have used a fuse instead of a circuit breaker
and let us fault this bus over here so when I fault the bus number 3 the first breaker to open will be the circuit breaker 7 and it will go upstream like that and for the bus 2 the circuit breaker 8 will be the first one to operate then the circuit breaker 6 and then we will look at the line 2 ground faults as well so the coordination is working perfectly so the one thing I haven't considered in this single line diagram is that the protection for the motor the motor requires special protection involving a circuit breaker and an overload relay as well so that I will explain in the next lesson so see you in the next lesson